Welcome, my lovely people. Hello, I'm Karen. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, why you can't lose weight. So this is why you can't lose weight is the topic. And so we're going to talk about that. So there's a lot of different reasons why you can't lose weight. Sometimes I think people think that it's just not meant for them, right? And it's just like uh, you inherited a certain gene that's just going to keep you uh, overweight your whole life, right? Or maybe you started off as being overweight and you're still overweight, right? Um, so it just depends, but it, there's no real rule that um, if someone passes you a gene that you're going to be way overweight as well. And you just probably came up with the habits of eating the same way they eat, cook the same way they eat, make the same foods the same way that they made them and to shop the same way that they shopped for, you know, whatever they shopped for. And um, so a lot of those can play a huge effect in, um, in your weight. And if we learn to get rid of some of those old habits, we can do a much better job at losing weight. So we have to let go of all those limiting beliefs and all of that and to be able to get ourselves right on track, front and center, put ourselves in focus with ourselves, And that's how you can learn to uh, lose weight, right? So we're going to go ahead and just get right into it. I will mention just real quick my um, my brush, my dry brush that I use on my skin that really helps me to have better circulation. It also helps with dry skin, and it really helps me to uh, get my skin so it's not so leathery looking from winter and really help to uh, brush my skin, dry brush my skin. And it just is a wonderful luxury item. And it feels so good and tingly on your, on your skin after you're done brushing your skin. And you can go to my website and choose one. Uh, this one is not from my website. It is a different one. But um, you can go there and find one uh, dry brush and uh, check it out. It's very inexpensive. And it does make you feel really nice. So let's hop right into it. I know that that's what you're here for. And so we're going to um, talk about why you can't lose weight. So we have about, let's see, I think 10. So we have 10 different topics that we'll be talking about just be, that go into this, why you can't lose weight. Okay. So uh, number one is you won't give up the foods you know are high calories and bad for you. I talked to so many women and they're like, I'm not giving up my Pepsi and I'm not giving up my red meat and I'm not giving up, you know, whatever it is they love, my noodles or la pasta or whatever, you know, um, just different things. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, don't be so headstrong on sticking to some of those things. You know, if you really want to lose weight, bad enough, you'll give up pretty much, you know, the way that you're eating and all the stuff that's bad for you and find really good foods that you like. It's got to be foods you like to stay on the, on the journey for long lot, for longevity, right? For, um, for the rest of your life. I know I have to. And um, so anyway, so number two is you keep drinking soda that is full of sugar and many People drink more than one to two cans of pop a day. I was talking to someone who was trying to diet and they're, they were having like four cans of pop a day, regular pop a day, you know? Oh my gosh. And you start reading the ingredients on there and it's just amazing how much ingredients they have on there. And you have to learn to replace it with something else. I'm not saying do without, but find something that's sugar free at least, right? So then number three, is your self-talk is terrible and you say not so nice things to yourself. I've heard that. People have a really bad relationship with themselves, maybe even a really bad relationship with food, and they just say really mean and horrible things to themselves. And it's like, you know, you can't keep doing that and expect to become something else, right? You're going to um, have to get over that. You're going to have to, um, you know, get through that and not be like that, not say such uh, horrible things to yourself 
because that just brings you down. And then you'll go right back to the food because you're feeling so lousy about yourself that you can just, you know, go back to some high calorie foods because you're overriding yourself all the time because you haven't built a strong bond with yourself. So you want to make sure that you are building a strong bond with yourself. And um, in my program, we go all into that and we really uh, do the work, right? So then number four is you eat out at restaurants or you get carry out or fast food uh, that maybe even you, maybe you get food delivered to your house as well. You know, we used to, and it was also a nice feeling that you'd had food come to your house, but in the same respect, it's like, you know, you're really hurting your health by doing that because you know what they're bringing you is just, you know, not so good for you, right? It's uh, very unhealthy most of the time. So then number five is you live in clutter all around you and don't have the energy to clean it up. So I know like when my blood pressure was really high, I didn't have the energy to do a lot of things like clean my yard and rake and do all these different things, right? You just don't have the energy. You just don't feel good, right? And so I know how you feel if you're feeling this way. And it's really hard when you feel this way, but we did some hiring in, we hired some people to come and help us, um, you know, and that's sometimes what you have to do. You have to get cleaning the clutter and just uh, be able to live healthy, right? So you want your environment to be clean and healthy and all of that. So it's, um, it's nice when, if you can't do it, that you find someone that can come in and do the work for you. Um, it just will make you feel so much better. And so you want to make sure that you can, um, you know, maybe find someone to do that if you're not able to do it yourself. So then number six, you don't fill up your plate with leafy greens or vegetables. So you eat all this high calorie food, you eat lots of pasta, lots of sweets, lots of uh, carbs. And that's why you're packing on the pounds, right? So you want to make sure that you're changing some of those out. You're changing and you're trying. You can start small. You can start slowly, but start putting on your plate a lot more green vegetables and a lot more vegetables. So number seven, you put too much emphasis on your weight number you are now instead of looking forward to the weight number you want to be. I hear so many people tell me, you know, I'm such and such weight and I'm such and such weight and I'm such and such weight. And like they just totally focus on that number of that they are, you know, and when you start dieting and you start losing weight, you know, you're not going to be that weight forever. Right. So you have to start visualizing that you're going to be a smaller number and maybe you want to take baby steps. Maybe you want to like say um, you're going to be. 30 pounds lighter, right? You're going to be 30 pounds lighter. So choose a number that's 30 pounds lighter. Focus on that, right? Focus on that number that you want to become, that you want to be, right? And that's how you get there. You have to have the vision along with it, right? So you want to do that. And then number eight is you make up excuses not to get started on a new weight loss plan because you're scared. And I can understand that a lot of people are scared and a lot of people more than even scared, they are afraid of change. Now, I love change. I love new things. I love change. You know, um, it wouldn't hurt me a bit to pick up from where I am right now and to move somewhere else. <laughs> you know, I like change. It doesn't bother me a bit. I really like change. And um, <laughs> I just I'm just recalling a um because because I have some background in interior design and I'm always like moving furniture around so <laughs> I'm oh, I'm thinking about something my son said to me the other day he said mom I wouldn't want to come into this house being blind because you're always moving stuff I'd never find my way and I'm like yeah you're right but I love change I love to change things up a bit right and um, it's just, uh, to me, it's a good feeling. But a lot of people are afraid of change. They don't want to change because they don't want to give up what they're doing. They don't want to be put out. They don't want to have to choose other things. They don't want to start a new routine. They don't want to, um, you know, 
improve their daily life, right? That that can help them because they give up too soon. They've they've tried diet after diet after diet and they give up too soon. You can't give up. You know, even like even for me, like for through Christmas, you know, I picked up some weight because I was tr trying different foods and we were having a good time and we were just, you know, doing eating and and things we shouldn't have been, right? And um trying all this delicious food and it just it comes right back when you pack it on. Right. So, but now it's much better, you know, I'm back down to where I should be. And, but it just, you know, a lot of people don't like to be put out. They don't want to change, you know? So that's what I hear. And they're scared to change. They're really scared to um, put their, put their trust in themselves, put their trust in themselves that they're going to get the weight off. They're going to not let themselves down again, right? That's the worst feeling is to let yourself down all the time. Let yourself down. The scale lets you down, right? And, you know, you can't focus on that. You have to be willing to open your heart and to say, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a, a damn good try this time. So then number nine. Uh, yeah, number nine, you don't use you don't use portion control and you pile your plate too high. I see this like when we'll go to a wedding or we'll go somewhere and it's like you have to go up there and it's like a smorgasbord and you go up there and you put all this stuff on your plate or whatever. And it's like people like wait all day, I think, to to go there. And then they like pile their plates so high, like they're not going to get another bite, you know, like they're not going to get they're filled, you know what I mean? And it's just like, oh my gosh, I just like, you know, <laughs> it's hard to take it off if you don't have a plan to follow. And, it, you know, some of these people, they just really pile their plate and it's like, why are they doing that? And it's, um, it's hard to, um, you know, to take it off sometimes. So you have to be sure to, you know, just don't eat until you get full or, you know, eat until you get kind of like, you know, I think I've ate enough now instead of eating like until you feel really full. We don't want that full feeling, feeling, right? We want to just eat enough to like say, okay, I had my meal. I fueled my body. I'm good, you know? And not like sit around and have to like feel into fill yourself up until you're so full that you get indigestion and you just, you know, don't feel good and you just like ate too much and you can't move around and do the things that you want to do, you know? So then number 10 is you don't believe you are worthy of weight loss. You have to visualize it for yourself. So a lot of people don't feel they're worthy of weight loss. Maybe they have a family that they, a lot of them are overweight and they don't feel that they are worthy because they look around and they see everyone else is overweight and they've just kind of like accepted it. And they don't think that they're worthy of losing the weight. Right. And so you have to make sure that you leave that small door open and you, uh, that door open a little bit, you know, so you can um, have hope, you know, you always want to have hope. And um, if you get on the right plan and you get on the right type of diet, you can lose weight too. And, um, you know, you just have to be willing to to want to do it, you know, want to do it for yourself. And not only for yourself, you want to do it for your family because all the all the new um, tools that I give you in the program, you can share those with your friends and your family. You can help them become better people. You can help them by losing weight, by watching you and you being a role model to them. It's going to help them too. So if you're you know, worried about that, you will sure get your money's worth when you uh, are able to pass this on to your family, the things that you will learn inside the program. So uh, I think it's just a wonderful way to uh, really start beating some of this obesity. I mean, the Americans are just really obese and we need to do something. We all need to put in a little bit of time and to change this, you know, and um, it's nothing to uh, keep putting on the back burner and and have health issues 
that come along with it. Now, some of you may already have health issues and then it's even a, a bigger issue to hurry up and get help, right? You want to hurry up and get help before anything bad happens. And, um, you know, when you find someone that you can trust and that you can rely on, that's going to be your number one cheerleader. They're going to be there for you. They're going to help you along. There's going to be days when you cry. There's going to be days when you're happy and they, they, they're there to hold your hand through all of it. That what, that's what makes a really good coach. You know, they don't back off when things get tough with you. You know, they, they stand right there beside you and they help you and they hold your hand through the most difficult times. Right. And they're there to, um, you know, push you along and to, to make you accomplish the things that you dream of. Right. And the, the good, so the good can come out. Right. And, um, so I just want you to know that I am here for you and, um, I would be honored to be your coach and to help you along with weight loss and to help you to, uh, even if you start to take off a few pounds, right. It will so much help your, your health. Right. And, um, so I'm here for you. And uh, I want all of you to be able to, um, you know, look better, feel better and do much better. Right. So um, I'm also going to put in the description about the dry bar. I'm going to put my website in there and uh, some other content. So you can go there. You can always book a call with me and you can uh, go there and see some of the amazing products that are on my website. You just go to the top of my website and you go to more. And then you scroll down to where it says shop. You'll have to scroll down to get it to highlight. And you scroll down. And then where it says shop, you just click on shop. And it'll take you to a page where you can order some of this stuff. And um, there's, they just have some amazing uh, healthy uh, products. And you want to check it all out. And um, so I'll put that on there. You can also join me and follow me on my Facebook page. I'd love to have you. I've been getting a lot of new followers on my Facebook page. And I'd love to have you. I post reels and I post different content on my Facebook page from time to time too. I try to do it weekly, if not a couple, two, three times a week. And um, so you can go there and hang out with me as well. And um, I just love to have you around, you know, and uh, so go ahead and befriend me and um, we can hang out and um, we can help you along the way as well. So thanks so much for watching and listening. And I appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe. I need one more follower um, uh, subscriber. Sorry. I need one more subscriber here on YouTube to hit my 40. I'd love to accomplish that this weekend. We have today and tomorrow and Sunday. So please subscribe. I would love you for that. So let's give you a big hug from me and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.